We are here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, my favorite. definitely my favorite resort it's so beautiful just so much atmosphere and it's so peaceful here even with kids running around they can't help it it's just peaceful quiet and I see a giraffe already giraffe 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 back there. Mm -hmm. They're coming right over to her. They're like, yes, I want the new stuff. Yes, please. Did it come out of the grass? Yep, they came running. Like, yes, I would like some dinner. He's like, yep, okay, I waited. I'm on my way now. <laughs> I waited long enough. I think so, yeah. Mr. Zebra. Look at the little baby. He's a baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, baby. You're cute. beautiful one day one day we will stay here not sure when but someday I will find a way All right, well we found a bunch of empty rocking chairs so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit enjoy the view Waiting our text to say that it's time for us to go eat some delicious food. All right, time for Boma. So here is my plate. Got a rib, a strip loin, so the peanut rice, the corn. I forget what they call this? Corn pudding with spinach, boba tea, the fufu. And I had to get some of the curried pasta because I've seen it in peas and carrots vlog over and over. So I. Needed to try the curry pasta and then just some dip. Looks like it's gonna be delicious. All right, here's plate number two. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through this, but I'm gonna try my best. Gotta save room for the zebra domes. What? Gotta save room for the zebra dome. So we all know the real reason why we're here. Zebra domes. It's pretty much the reason why you come over to Animal Kingdom Lodge, that is. Oh yeah, Mike ate like six of these when we were here. <laughs> so maybe even more than that. Really? Yeah. Zebra domes are amazing. So then there's also a Kenyan coffee tart, an Oreo cheesecake tart, and a passion fruit tart. 
So, not sure how much I'll eat of these, but these two are definitely gonna be gone. And our waitress saw Mom's birthday button and brought her a little Tink light up, which is perfect. She didn't even know that Tink was my mom's favorite. And she's got a little Tinkerbell. That's awesome. Who knew? And we showed her because my mom got the Tink bracelet. She's got her Tink earrings on right now. Yep, she's got her Alex and Ani. Well, oh, she's backwards. She's got her Tink Alex and Ani. She's wearing Tink earrings. It's so good. <laughs> Mom's got her Tinkerbell. It's so cute. And you're actually like reflecting the wall back there. You're like, Woo. there she is. There's Tink on the wall. <laughs> Glowing away. Well, happy birthday, Mom. All right, well, goodbye, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Time to go waddle home. <laughs> Waddling back to our hotel now. <laughs> I always eat too much. It's so delicious, but I always eat too much. I was only physically able to eat one and a half zebra domes. It made me very sad, but it was delicious. So we are back in the room after a long but awesome day. We did Magic Kingdom, then hopped to Epcot, then went to Animal Kingdom Lodge and hung out there and had Boma for dinner. Boma was delicious as always. It was my dad's first trip. We had an amazing server, Carla, who gave my mom the little Tinkerbell, which is definitely a memory that we'll keep. It was just so perfect. Um, just had a really good day. As I think I said, a little too much in the Magic Kingdom portion. It was really busy day to day. And mainly just shocking to me because January used to be one of the really slow months, like September, where you could come and pretty much have the park to yourself. I remember even going to some of the parks in January when I was in college and Literally just walking onto everything, multiple times. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's been a while. I graduated from college over 10 years ago now. But to see the crowds today, I would say it was a seven out of 10 today, maybe an eight out of 10 at Magic Kingdom, which is crazy for a day in January. I mean, at one point, Big Thunder was at over 100 minute wait. Mine train was 120 minutes, about mm, noon today, and then, I mean, Peter Pan's always crazy, but it was 70 minutes. And even, you know, a wait for the people mover, everything. So at least the weather was absolutely perfect. So it was enjoyable no matter what. And be thanks to Fast Passes, we got everything done that we needed to before we hopped over to Epcot. But I was not expecting that. So I guess if my one piece of advice would be, uh, don't expect that January is gonna be a non-peak month anymore because apparently the only safe time to go is September, and I'm sure that's only a limited amount of time. However, September is basically hell on earth as far as Florida weather, so it's not for the faint of heart, I will tell you that much. And then to end the day at Animal Kingdom, it's just so relaxing there, it's beautiful. Bulma was delicious as always. I had zebra domes, that's always a good day when I get to have a zebra dome. So, wonderful day, wonderful way to end the second day. And tomorrow is the final day of our trip and we're spending the whole day at Animal Kingdom. So taking my parents to Pandora for the first time. So with that, I will sign off for this vlog and I'll see you guys again next week at Animal Kingdom. Bye. Unbeknownst to me, I'm getting taken on Prime Move of the World by these lovely people, Kyle, Jesse, and I have Mary's Magic Band. And we're going on this thing. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs>